Alright, maybe that's better. Hey! <laughs> so I, uh, I had unplugged my mic yesterday to plug something else into one of my front ports and, uh... Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, or mouthing, as I, as I was miming, <laughs> yesterday I added, um... Uh, blacklist and whitelist support um, so you can add people's names to the blacklist uh, whatever else I don't have anyone I want to blacklist right now um, you can also add a whitelist uh, so blacklist will stop anybody in chat from um, participating in anything right so they they won't get to vote uh, they won't get to do special B names they won't get to do special B dialogue um, uh, yeah, so you effectively ban them from from interacting with the game. Um, the whitelist stuff only works if whitelisting is available, uh, is enabled, so via this here. Um, uh, which uh, means that anybody not in the whitelist isn't able to participate in chat uh, features. Um, I also added some instructions here that explain what each of the sections do, hopefully with enough detail that um, that you know anybody who's who's streaming or whatever can can read these, get an overview of what's going on, and go into it informed if they want to, or if they come back later and want to understand how things work in a bit more detail than than just the tooltips can show. Then uh, then I'll have that there, um, and that's uh, where are we? I don't need that open. Um, that's defined here in a JSON file, um, so I can update that and have that external to the game. Um, I might add some things in, so that, like, because at the moment, um, the only thing it says about special B commands is that you can do exclamation mark help. And I might make it so that I can, uh, I'll just put, like, some little flag in here and, uh, replace that with, um, uh you know, a, a generated thing. Oh, may maybe that's something new that I added as well. Um, which is like, if you're a special B, oh, hang on, I'll, I'll go and I'll, I'll update the uh, settings to, to use Twitch stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm, I need to, I need to, work on this so that um, it doesn't try joining and quitting and stuff every every second. That's kind of nuts. Uh, just make sure that it is... Uh... Okay, good. It's getting... Wait. I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I still got some bugs. We'll fix them. We'll fix them! Um... So it shouldn't shouldn't be adding me to the yeah shouldn't shouldn't be adding me to the active users list, um, but I can also do this, which will spawn a little Jesus bee um, that has like a cheese trail and my cool antennae, um, and that that bee lives for like I don't know twenty minutes or something. Uh, there's a little thing here that says the developer has joined your hide. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, so now I need to, need to work out why, um, <clears throat> active users dot push back user, oh no, it's, it's active users <laughs> and not is dev, so Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this sooner. If is dev. <laughs> oh. Um, so yeah, back back here. Uh I'm grabbing too many lines. Alright, there we go. I think that's better. So, let's restart, because I can't be bothered uh, 
Can't be bothered testing the thing. Um. All right, yeah, so it doesn't add me to the list of active chat users, which means I, I can't show up as a special, uh, just like a normal special bee. Um, but I can do this and I can also say be me. Oh no. <laughs> uh, huh. Let's, there we go. No. Hmm. Okay. Something else isn't working. Uh, so the command for that is sabi message. Oh, okay, yeah. If, uh, if user in, uh, dev names. Um,. Oh, we don't, we don't actually keep a handle on that. Um, hey, welcome, welcome. Just, uh, just troubleshooting some stuff so that I can make sure that, um, uh, well, let me, let me recap, let me comment this. <laughs> uh, so I've made it so that, um, I can have myself as a bee, uh, which has got my cool little antennae. And uh, drops a little cheese trail, um, and that only happens if I do. Oh, I think you know what? I think I can I can spawn many of me. Yeah, I can. Look, there's another one. <laughs> uh, so nobody else can spawn this. This is only a thing that's like tied to my username. Um, and I want to make it so that I can do uh, say be me uh, test, but that's not currently working because a, a say be only looks for normal chat users that have been allocated and I notice now that you have not been so what's up with that oh no we already have that no, I'm blind where are you oh weird oh oh I see I see I see okay so there's a few things going on there a few things that need fixing <laughs> um let's kill all them let's make a normal newbie no? Oh, that's weird. Um. Yeah, anyway, that's not working. Let's, let's focus on this first. Uh. If. Uh. User in. Dev bees. And we'll, we'll just make another list to keep these in. It's fine. Whatever. Um, and we will do the same, uh, and I probably shouldn't, <laughs> uh, all right, now let's, let's, let's do this properly. Uh, var, uh, B list equals whatever, um, then B list equals dev B's else allocated, uh, B list equals allocated names, um, and then with uh, that should be an elif, and then else just return, um, and then we can do all this. There we go. <laughs> so that way we're not re like duplicating a bunch of code. Uh, and then we need to declare dev piece. So um, um, doop. Uh, dev b b b b b b b b b b. Hmm. Uh. Spawn dev, there we go. Okay, so uh, if we're doing that, then dev bees uh, 
div b. No. Huh. Username equals div b. Okay. Uh, hmm. Is that something I need to care about? No. Good. Okay. So I need to. I need to free this as well. Um, uh, name equals name dot to lower. We'll just make sure that we're not um, name. Not messing that around. Um. Yeah, I think that works. And then back over here in... Uh... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, erase. Name. I'm just like, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh, so back over here in player, we've got... Uh, is dev? No. Dev B? No. Dev name. Okay. So here... So, what I want to do is here in set role, because what was happening was my um, dev B was allocating like a regular B. So I want to stop that. Um, so let's go back and have a quick squeeze at set role. And double check where I'm doing that. Okay, so if it's not an existing B, then we do the thing. Otherwise, is this where we do it? Okay, this is in set hero. Um, uh, is dev equals false? We'll just just do this. Um, Uh, yeah, okay, so let's break this into two things. If chat name special bees and not uh, is dev. Uh, well, no, I don't. I can just keep that as as one. I was thinking I might have to do something special for uh, for that. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, uh, so back here where we call set role in player, where a player is gone. Um, uh, we've got like set hero somewhere. Set hero. Where are we doing here? Ah, here. Um, and this is this is dev name. Oh, okay. Is it the only place to call me set hero? Okay. Um, true if dev name is not empty, else false. Blech. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so let's try that again. Um, if anybody is in chat, uh, please say some stuff so that uh, I can contest some things. Brilliant. Uh, thank you. And then I will spawn me. And then I will attempt to spawn you. Hey, nice. That works. Hooray! Um, so did I fix a B me test? Hey, that works too. So what I might also do is <laughs> this is this is fun. Um, 
it's it's kind of it doesn't impact on the game much but it gives people uh, and, I, and I said this yesterday not yesterday last time I streamed as well is like I think of this as um, oh you are cool if you want to discuss implementation details uh, give me a nudge I'm happy to, to talk about my approach uh, and or even consider sharing uh, some of the code that I wrote if that's a value um, I think I want to write a uh, just a small article or something on on how I did this and and what's involved and and how it's all working and stuff. Um, so I've also got some like gift voting stuff going on, so we can uh, we can give pollen or or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was saying yesterday that that in my mind this is a shallow feature, in that it doesn't impact gameplay at all. Uh, this whole like chat participants as bees, but from a perspective of chat users feeling an emotional investment in the experience of watching the game um, then from that perspective it is incredibly deep um, because it, it it does uh, give the the chat participants so much presence in the game whereas the um, the gift voting or even the event voting for example it's uh, it's fire up an event that's got to can have a vote on it um, you know so it can go a or B or whatever um, and I'll show up down here uh, that stuff is shallow from a, a sort of you know emotional investment perspective from chat participants um, you know there's one vote among potentially many um, but uh, but from a gameplay perspective it is much deeper because it can can potentially influence how how things go although the player still gets to uh, to make the choice in the end for themselves yeah 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 they're, they're kind of engagement along different axes I think um, and obviously you know this this stuff is gonna upset balancing a little bit but I figure whatever you know if you're streaming then you're probably not paying enough attention to the game anyway and you're not playing as focused as you would be um, if you're playing on your own uh, so you know that any any kind of like real tuning or balancing is not um, is not particularly uh, not, not gonna be particularly robust in those contexts anyway um, so gift add-on for Godot is something I'm not familiar with. Um, okay, so someone else has done a similar sort of thing. Yeah, cool. This is probably even more robust than, than mine is. Yeah, nice. Mm. Mine is just uh, this here. Where are we? Uh, Let's connect. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I just uh, let me. No, uh, how do we? How do we make the size bigger? There we go. <laughs> uh, and we don't need this up now, go away. Um, yeah, I I just open a, a stream peer TCP connection and then shush. Uh, then I stuff some strings down. Did I say shush? I said shush. Pause. Ah, stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I just stick some strings down. I like queue up some strings. Um, and then uh, in send, I just stuff those strings down the, down the stream. Um, and have a, a poll function as well that reads stuff back. If it's a ping, then we deal with it automatically. If it's... Um, you know, if it's if it's a nickname error, then um, we'll go and reconnect, uh, change our nickname, uh, and rejoin the channel. Um, otherwise, if we go back to uh, where is where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, somewhere is process. <laughs> uh, yeah, process. Just um, if we're connected, then we uh, we call send and poll after a, uh, a little delay so that we're not spamming too much. And then um, I just define all my commands like this 
I have a command prefix, which is an exclamation mark in this case, and then a bunch of things. Um, and I was thinking I can probably uh, have an empty command, which does same save message um, and passes the user, which I th think I have already set up. Let's go, just go double check <laughs> before I... Uh, because I think I think pass user ends up prepending. Yeah, pushes at the front. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, now now I should be able to just do uh, hello chicken friends or whatever, and it'll it'll come up as a, as a message without me doing the say be me thing. Um, I don't know what say be message there. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, so let us unpause and come back here. Oh, I gotta restart because those those dictionaries are not reloaded at runtime. <laughs> but yeah, it does seem like gift is a, a similar kind of thing. And then yeah, it, it does like, keeps a list of, of things that can be voted on and whatever. Um, so spawn me? No, spawn B. Spawn B? Spawn me. It's spawn me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hello. Hey, except it's empty. Damn. Test? Ah, yeah, okay. So I can just do a surprise mark space, hello test. Okay, well this is good to have a shorthand, right? Um, Oh, you know what? I could... Just wondering whether or not I could inject a space in there without having to type it. Because that'd be kind of nice. Um... Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I've set it up to only use default values if if the format that size is zero. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I could I could update this. I could make it more robust, but for now I won't bother because I'm I've got plenty of other things to go on with. So I'll make sure that my other um, uh, uh, spawn uh, spawn ten builders or is it spawn builders ten? I need to <laughs> no. All right, now I'm confused. What's going on here? Um, oh, I'm putting hashes on there. No wonder. Yeah, it's a spawn builder 10. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, oh, my other commands are working fine. That is brilliant. Let's, uh, let's do effect big bees, because that's always fun. <laughs> Um, so <clears throat> when I when I was uh, working on Hand of Fate 2 uh, and helping out with stuff, we had uh, a bunch of like as part of the chat integration, we had a bunch of commands that could only be run by people with uh, developer accounts. And um, so I can do uh, say adjust your set. Um, um, you know, we, we could could interact with the game in ways that other normal people couldn't. Um, and part of that was being able to trigger any content. Um, and that made for a really interesting um, dynamic. It meant that, you know, we've got the normal chat integration stuff and chat participants hang out and, and, and do their thing and that becomes kind of normalized. But when a developer jumps in and starts... Um, you know, starts doing things that are outside of that, then that becomes immediately special. Um, and, uh, and becomes a way to like, A, uh, notify the streamer that there is in fact a developer in their chat if, uh, <laughs> if they're not aware. Um, and B, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's so many kind of fun shenanigans you can, you can kind of get up to and do, um, that are, uh, that are neat. And uh, and it's been you know provided so many so many positive experiences, um, not just for myself but for for other developers. Um, 
So I wanted to try and, and reproduce some of that. So, you know, if, if someone's getting cocky and saying that they're, um, um, uh, this way. Yeah. if someone's getting cocky and saying that the game's too easy, I can just go, bam, <laughs> um, and, uh, and queue up a bear attack, you know, or if someone's stuck and they need a hand, I can go, um, uh, random act of kindness, I think it is, you know, I can, I can do, I can do stuff like that, and I want to do a couple of, like, um, uh, events that are just specifically, you know, chat, chat oriented events, um, rather than, um, you know, the existing ones, I have some stuff that, that's a little bit more fourth wall breaking and, uh, and, uh, maybe a little bit more fun as well. So, yeah, these, these have been, these have been cool to have, cool to add. Absolutely terrifying, because, you know, I'm allowing people to interact with the game outside of the game's normal UI. Um, and while in most cases I don't think there's anywhere that someone could run an arbitrary function, it's still, <laughs> still pretty daunting, right? Um, yeah. That's fine, though. It's fine. But yeah, so that's, that's fun. Um, the other thing that I want to do, I think, is add, um, um, so what I could do is add an option where you, it always spawns the maximum number of special bees, so, um, because normally they don't appear, uh, they, they're quite rare. Um, I think it's, might be one in 50 bees is a special bee or something. Um, and by default, they only occur after you've upgraded the throne room. So I've added an option in so that it can spawn special bees from the beginning, but I might add an option to just go always spawn special bees. Um, and that way, you know, there, there should ideally always be um, at least a couple kicking around. Oh, there we go, it's our bear attack. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear, <yeah>. alright. <clears throat> but I guess I should, maybe it would also make sense to expose an option where the, you know, streamer or player or whatever can manually spawn a special bee as I have been. Um, You know what? I should put sporting special bees in as a go uh, voting option. That seems like a uh, um, like a good idea. Let's go and uh, let's go and add a, a effect for that. Um, um, special B. Um, yeah, and that that'll be fun too because I that'll mean that I can just go. Uh, effect special B or whatever and uh, and trigger the spawning of special bees from outside the game or from outside the yeah my debug shortcuts which won't always be enabled right um, yeah that's fun uh, so no duration um, it's gonna be new bees um, and I guess I want any one and no follow-up effects maybe maybe I want that to be new special bees and that way I can separate that out and, and sort that so uh, back down here in player, we're looking for new bees. Um, uh, 
and it's gonna more or less be the same thing here. Mm. Let's make B take Force Hero, yeah. So Like, what's, what's the lowest impact way that I can make this? Because I don't really want to copy and paste all this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, um, Yeah, I think I think I'll just use like piggyback off the existing new base thing. Uh hmm. No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I can pay more attention. Um or new base special in effect data. Uh, and there we go. Um, uh, duh, duh, effect type equals new bees, and then we can just go this again. If effect type, why well, don't? Oh yeah, no. Bees special. Uh, special equals false. False is special false and you be special and then force special equals true hooray um, so now this becomes effect type and we want to just make sure that we're oh yeah sorry that is right So this means that if I've got um, if I've got new bees and new special bees in as two separate um, like two separate items in one effect, then it'll the new bee special will take precedent and it will ignore the other one. But I can still do that using the include functionality that I wrote last week. So that's no big deal. <laughs> uh, and then back here for special. So if we come back here, reload all our data, um, and I can do effect special B. Boo. <laughs> uh, is it special B? Yeah, new special base. Processing command, effect special B. Uh, print. Trying new bees. What is going on? Are we, are we actually applying this? No. Okay. Maybe... Oh, it's new special bees. Uh, I wrote, I wrote the thing wrong. No wonder. Special. There we go. Uh, so let's reload again. Then let's try that again. Hey, we got a special bee. I think. Oh, but it doesn't show the new chat. Oh no! It's fine. It's fine. You want to be bee? I make you bee. There we go. We got a B. Um, so 
What I need to do here then is make sure that newbie special does not um <laughs> You're heading off to bed. Let's give you a fancy hat. Or you can give yourself a fancy hat. You can type in next underscore hat and um and change what hat you're wearing. Give me that. Uh uh, go back. Oh, that's fun. That's using the wrong thing. There you go. You got a witch's hat? Nice. You can also do, um, eat me and drink me to shrink and grow. Um, you can do brief hat as well for a previous hat. Uh, and you can do, uh, oh, actually you can do exclamation mark help and it'll show you, like, it'll print a list of commands on screen. Which is fun. Yeah. And I can also... <laughs> I can also... Um, I can also say stuff on behalf of, of other bees, which is kind of fun. Um, oh, oh, hmm. hmm. So I think what I want to do is, because those buttons are kind of hard to, to click on. Um, let's go back. Hmm. Uh, back here. And I just want to check. Is this nonsense? Get out of here. Um, so if we got like a H-box or something, that is a control. Okay, good. So I can set this to, um, to stop mouse and both of those are already set to stop mouse. So that's fine. And I'll set this one to, well, yeah, I'll, I'll do it here. Uh, so this one's going to ignore. Uh, and then we're going to come back to the script for this file and look for uh, ready. Um, and mm, <laughs> uh, so I guess what I want to do is this, and we're going to get rid of these, and we're going to get rid of this. That's not what I pressed. Someone else pressed that. Um, this is going to be... Um, uh, pause. Um, that's going to be unpause position. Uh, so button out. It's going to be unpause position and then unpause position. There we go. Okay. I'll need to reload that because I don't think the, the scene changes. I don't know. If they do update, it's not consistent. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. So it's just spawn me and then say test okay yeah so I can stop that from anywhere the one thing I thought was odd no I don't understand why it was um oh hmm okay Oh, thank you. It's, uh, I wish I had a better camera for it. Um, but, uh, and, and I wish I had more exciting birds visiting, but yeah, it's nice to have. And when something exciting is going on, I can just do this and we can, can enjoy watching the birds at low, low res. <laughs> Until I scare them away accidentally. Um, 
<clears throat> Alright, let's see. I just have a tripod there with a, uh, a camera pointing out the window. Yeah. I think that's where my camera was. This is somewhere like that. That's fine. So that's that's inside the house rather than outside. And because it's just on the other side of the window here, the uh, the birds do <laughs> do notice me gesturing around. Um, what was I doing? What was I thinking about? I don't know. Yeah. Let that disappear while it's on that side. And then we'll spawn another one. No, that's working. Yeah, I really don't know what oh that's what I was doing. Okay, so when we when we mouse over the buttons, um the the hbox container is getting the the sort of mouse out event um um well i guess i can just Actually, you know what? Um, hmm. I didn't need to restart there. <laughs> Let's uh, spawn me again. And then say some stuff. Okay, so like that's fine, except that when I come off the uh, the button, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do the thing. So... <clears throat> Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, <laughs> this is fun. So what I really want to do is pass these signals up I guess hang on if I if I set them to pass it doesn't um, it doesn't actually call oh, yeah thanks <laughs> Th thanks for that uh, lovely lovely piece of documentation there um, I don't don't have a good good window open. Let's make a new one. Um, so we're looking for control. Oh, hang on, no, it's not control. It's gonna be like node, maybe object. I don't know. Let's connect a part of node. N yeah, no, this must be part of object. This, this so much. <laughs> um, so, well, hang on. No, it's control that we want anyway, because that's got the mouse filter. Yeah. Uh, so what do we got? Will receive mouse button endpoint events through GUI input if clicked on, and the control will receive these signals. If it doesn't handle the event. Parent control will be considered. All right, so I think that I think that will work then. Let's find out. Uh, da, da. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's make a B. Make it say stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, um... There's no function I can call that makes it, um, check whether or not the mouse is over stuff. I don't think. I wish there was. Um, just like, you know, go and, go and find out. Recalculate all the, uh, the mouse over stuff now that we've done something. Because in this case, like, um, you know, I've, I've paused this and the bee has flown away a bunch and now I'm following and I would really, like, now that we've clicked on the button, I'm happy for that to just move. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I know how to do this. Maybe. <laughs> um, so is the process... Um... Uh, actually we'll just copy this. Um... Button... Chase B. Uh, here. Actually, yeah, we'll just do that. Because we're already doing those tricks. No worry! Be well. Thank you for dropping by. Um, I will we'll make sure that there is a, a lasting <coughs> Celestina B kicking around. I give you a witch's hat again. There we go. <laughs> Be well, and I will talk to you another time. Alright. So I think I think this will, will work. So now um, I can say test and I can put the mouse over this. I can click that. Uh <laughs> Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Um, I, I guess I can... Well... I, I guess I'll just do this. I mean, it's a little bit awkward and it creates the same problem, but in reverse. Um, where... If we do this and then we press this, then the mouse is no longer over. But all we gotta do is move it again. So I guess that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So let's do another proper test. See how it looks. So we go do and then jump and yeah, that's that's better. Better than the alternative and less fiddling around than like doing, uh, you know, A B B calculations for whether the mouse is within the the thing every time we do that because I stuff drives me nuts and I don't want to do it <laughs> um, right so the next thing that I wanted to work on was um, uh, unused bees okay so we're gonna do um, uh, unused spawns and unused deaths um, we're going to start pooling um, the spawn and death effects. So I don't, do we? Yeah, okay. So we do, do we do this? I think we do the spawn effect in, I think we do both in B. So uh, effect. B spawn effect? No, we do the we do the spawn effect in player. Okay, that's fine. Um Oh yeah, okay, so that, that is gonna need to be a dictionary. Um unused spawns. 
is one of these. Um, and for every, well, it's just gonna need to be this, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I use death. Death is a generic, so whatever. Um, Uh, <laughs> all right, where, where are we using these then? Maybe it is in B. Why are these so small? Hmm. Uh, oh, we are duplicating them. Right, yeah, 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 it's here. I'm just, I'm just not paying attention. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, dot size is greater than zero, else do this. Um, so we're going to have our particles. Um, This is fine. This is fine. We're all fine here. This is fine. <laughs> um. Hmm. And so back in uh, spawn, back here in this script, which is going to be the quiet you, <laughs> is going to be the default particle. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't necessarily want to do this for everything, so we're just going to add a, um, uh, fruit. Yeah, so we're going to add a new, a new script that does this. Um, oh, where is, where is, uh, particle base? That is in scripts. Okay. So, new script. It's not going to be built in. It's going to be in the scripts folder. Slash. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, this extends um, particle base.gd. I think that's how we do this. Let's just. Uh, that's not how we spell extends, is it? Yeah, so we, we do that like that and sweet. Um, funk handle and uh, uh, yeah, handle end is fine, and then that's going to be Q3, uh, handle end, and that get, that allows me to override that function. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. And so we want, uh, is it B spawn or something? Yeah. So funk handle end. We, we want to, um, uh, 
uh, yeah, so we got we got components, so we can do a uh, for thing in components. So we want to set process false, <laughs> uh, and false. Um, and this is this is going to have a a role, and I guess a planner. Um, and we will assume that we will have added these. So player uh, dot uh, unused spawns dot append. Um, roll self. Okay, that's fine. Excuse me. And then here we will also do um, set process true. Um, that doesn't need to be an underscore anymore. That shouldn't be a need. <laughs> and that shouldn't be a comparison, and that shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Okay. Because back here in particle base we set a meeting to true. Yeah. And that's fine. That's all fine. Yeah, that should work. Um, so back in player, let's say um, vector three. Let's go back to B. Uh, it'll be death. Uh, return to pool. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just, uh, <laughs> all right. This is super dodgy, but this is what we're doing. Uh, back here, return to pool. We don't even do that. We just go equals player dot nowhere, and that's fine. Um, and then I guess we'll we'll do the same back here for our B spawn. Um, this is a spatial, right? Yeah. So wait, so back here in player, uh, when we are um, unused bees roll, oh, not bees, unused spawns, um, pop front, particles dot player equals self um, particles dot roll equals roll and um, we'll do that for both of them I suppose oh dear um, it appears that I'm getting a migraine so I'm probably gonna stop streaming here and go and have a lie down um, yeah uh, I have strong visual hallucinations when I get migraines, so that's, uh, 
Oh, there's a wren. Please come, come to my feeder. I don't know if you can hear her. She has a very high pitched sort of trill that she's doing. And, uh, all right, that's fine. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that this is working before <laughs> before I lose the ability to see. Uh, and uh, I mean, I think it is. I think this is all we need to do. It'll return itself to the pool. Um, we'll just uh, print uh, spawning new. Uh, oh no, reusing spawn for uh, roll, but we want to do get roll name for the role uh, and this is going to be uh, creating new spawn for role okay so let's uh, let's quickly run that <laughs> before the triangles take over uh, okay so oh. Invalid index zero. Oh yes, I do. I do need queens in there. Pro probably do need queens. So um, spawns uh, roll dot queen is also an array. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's frustrating. Wait, so player hasn't been assigned here? Hmm. <laughs> maybe I maybe put that in the wrong spot. Uh, particles dot player equals self. Particles dot role equals self. Oh, uh, no, that's. Let's, let's just make sure we're not using this anywhere else. Oh, is this, is this add queen or something? No. No, this is the same function. Oh, okay. I just, just need to, uh, just need to do that in here as well. Well, hang on. Why are we... Oh, we had two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Um. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's then. Uh. Um. Make. Be. A spawn. Uh, let's just do that here. Funk make b spawn. It's gonna need some arguments, but I don't know what those are just yet. We will do this. So this is uh, newbie dot global transform. Well, we'll just pass in newbie, and then I think we can just use newbie dot roll yeah uh, yeah here as well and, and there <laughs> uh, newbie oh my goodness uh, and then we can do that and that's fine and it's less dodgy Boo. Expected indentation. Unexpected indentation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Particles. Just needs to be declared in here. And outdated. 
Like it was a relic, it was new. Wow. <laughs> I'm losing it. Uh, all right. It's immensely frustrating. I would no not load hive. New hive. Skip tutorials, new hive is fine. So it'll make seven new things. So player is still nil. But we're setting player here. Particles to player. Equals self. Well, you know what? <sighs> but roll's gonna be. Roll's gonna be wrong regardless. Um. Why is that not working? This handle end. It's this handle end. I can't. I can't understand. Our new spawns on base nil. Yeah, so it, it's saying that player is nil. And roll is now. But we're setting it. We're setting it, damn it. Um, so. Uh, maybe I need to declare it in here. I remember inheritance is weird. So let's, uh. Let's do that. See what happens. I'm skeptical. I don't think that'll fix it. <clears throat> but I also can't see well enough to, uh... Yeah. So, I guess I need to find out where that's being called from. So let's put that back, because I would much prefer that to be there. Um, and back here in particle base, we would get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we'll just... Yeah, I must be I must be spawning them somewhere else. Maybe. I don't know. Um yeah, what I should do is spawn effect. Let's just have a look where we're using these. Uh Oh, it's the temp B. It's the temp B. Maybe? Oh, we're not doing that anyway. I guess. Oh no, we are. Here, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sorted out. I hope. <laughs> uh, okay. Except it's not. It's not showing it. Um. Okay. They. They got it. Oh, we're not we're not reusing them properly, but if we're making a new one, it's fine. Uh, 
that's weird. Hmm. So I guess we're not um, starting them up again, I guess. Um, or maybe they're not. Uh, let's let's just add uh, like a, a mesh instance or something. Oh yeah, dodgy anchor. All of that stuff is way dodgy. Uh, all that stuff is just mad. Let's just add a circle here, um, and and we'll give it a just a some kind of material that is bright and easy to see. But uh, and we will just offset it a little so that it doesn't interrupt the spawn thing too much is that right uh yeah just just down a little that's fine all right yeah so it's not that they're not firing, it's that they're not being moved to the correct position. Um, so... I wonder if we're just calling handle handle up print. Okay. Well, we're not we're not doing that at least. <laughs> um make B spawn. Yeah. Oh, we're translating it. Um, set. Uh, yeah, okay. Game dot visual effects engine. Okay, here we go. All right, let's try that again. Hooray! Oh yeah, yeah, that's a function, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, blackbird. Let's let's enjoy our blackbird. It just flew away. It's on the fence. Goodbye. All right. All right. Okay. Well, it's putting it in the right spot at least. Now we're going to make sure that it like find out why it's not. Um... Oh yeah. We got to just. Uh... <sighs> All right, that'll sort it out. No? Do we not get to call underscore ready again? I cannot believe this. Uh, oh, hang on. Probably can't do that anyway, because that's like... Uh, Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Uh, funk uh, setup, I guess, is fine. And then that can 
come back to here, I suppose. Um, uh, for child in components. Components, it's because um, we've always, you know, we've always done this. Um, set up. And then that stuff needs to be indented. I said, I said, and then. Yeah. Let's uh, try that again. Oh, hang on. And uh, back here in player, we're going to call rather than underscore ready, we're just going to call setup. Yeah, these are too high, I think, maybe. I don't know. They're still not firing, though. So. Let's check out these particles. They're not emitting, but we are setting emitting to true here, so... Um... Yeah, there we go. Print. Um... Yep. Particles... With... Uh, components.size children. Uh, print setting emitting to true for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking through a kaleidoscope right now. Setting a mini machine it was just reusing spawn. One of them one of them did do a thing, so I don't know what's going on there. Um Alright, let's let's go look at particles and see if we can work out what the hell's going on here. I want particles 2D, I just want particles, right? Because I think, I think these are all set to one shot. And I don't know whether or not I can, uh, can just set emitting again Oh, restart. Clearing existing particles. Okay, so uh, child restart. Let's try that. Yeah, so they all seem to be higher than they should be, so let's just, uh, 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 get translation. Is this, if we have a get translation? I think we have a get translation. Let's just double check. Uh, I want spatial. Looks like that says gets translation, so let's try that. Uh, F 
effect new queen. Is it new queen? No. I thought it was new queen. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's this event. Event new queen. No? Don't give me this. Special events. Oh, Queen Born. It's Queen Born. There we go. This hive is good. But we didn't get the spawn effect, so what's up with that? Okay. Um. Yeah, why is why is the Queen spawn effect not, not working? Okay, so we see the first queen. Um, uh, spawn queen one. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so that that works. But um, oh, that doesn't actually spawn a queen. Hmm. All right, let's. Let's run it again, skip the menu, and see if I can see the new queen effect. No, we don't even see those new bee effects. Let's, let's do a new queen like this. Okay, so we do, we do get the effect. Um, I guess that's fine. I guess that is fine. Um, right. Well, that means we now are pulling all of that. So I can load up a, um, oh yeah. The other thing we can do is back here. Oh, we are doing that. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, I can load one of my like stress test hides and, uh, see how this ends up looking. So we're looking for uh, Big Pop, I think it's called. Let's see if I can identify it by its thumbnail. It's one of these, but I don't think that's it. It's, yeah, that must be it. And of course the game is running slower now because I've got like a second copy of it up in the top corner here. And streaming is, is, oh, exciting. Wait, what? What? <laughs> so, Particles is null here. How does particles be null? Is... Um, how, how big is unused spawns? So confused. Do we call make B from B at all? No, good. So 
This is just a normal bee being born. So what type of bee is it? What's your role, my dude? You're a worker? Okay. Um... And there are ten of these. Which I guess... Oh, and they're all null. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that would explain that then. Uh... And the only thing that puts stuff into unused spawns is this. How can self be null in those cases? Uh. Like that's that's nuts. Oh, that was fun. Oh, I saw saw the queen effect there. Uh, um, just let me look. Thank you. All right, so all these look like they're meant to look. Uh, just, dude, come on. You don't have to be such a Pain in the bum. <clears throat> I really hate that that Godot gets all stupid about clicking on remote um, stuff in the inspector. Like, I just I just want to expand this, and it's all no. Maybe I'll do it one out of fifty million times. I guess it's it's like maybe it's updating the list while I'm in the middle of clicking and so it sort of discards that or something. I don't, I don't know. Just lots of things about the inspector bug me. One day I will get around to like writing some code to make it behave the way that I expect it to behave, but not today. Uh, today I just swear at it. <sighs> My goodness. See if we can find that save again. It had like uh, two question marks under it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's happy now. Well, that's that's terrifying. Uh, let's... Okay, so back back here in player, I guess, I guess here we can just go if particles uh, equals null, then render something very wrong has happened while getting particle effect um, and we don't we don't need this anymore because that's just like spamming console now uh, and then we've also got nonsense up here that we don't need to do that for and there should be particles base those either. There we go. Alright. <laughs> now we got less garbage. Um, uh, and I will pause there. Uh, spawn effect for roll um, 
unused spawns dot that roll. Yeah. Don't don't give me that. <laughs> So I can leave a breakpoint on that, and if it dies, then I'll be able to try and interrogate and inspect what's going on. Um, and if it dies in the wild, then at least we get a uh, uh, return. We get some kind of logged output. Um, so, next question is, let's get rid of the gift voting, because we don't need that anymore. Let's have a look at the profiler. a lot slower than it has been. Well, that's huge for a B. I've not gotten B down to like a lot less. So let's just show script functions. Um, and we'll, we'll pause that back here. So what's that? Is that B? That is B. Why are they going to be the same size? It's all running a lot slower than I would expect. It's still in B. So am I doing anything new in B that I wasn't previously doing? Not really. Not in process anyway. Unless that also counts the processing of, well, no, that, that wouldn't either. I don't know. I should. This all needs optimization, I think. Yeah. Wait, that's it? The hell? Oh, maybe it's handle be death. Um, release B sound. creating all these on the fly as new new variables oh yeah this is uh, well we're only doing that if it has a chat name Yeah, this, this scale stuff is the only thing that's new, really. Uh, I think, let me just double check that.
Yeah, yeah, it does need to. I know we're already doing that. Okay, user. Yeah, I think I think we are setting that to lowercase. Maybe. Free user. No, let's just leave it as it is. A new speeds push back. I don't know where. Yeah, maybe it was all these these like scale assignments where um we're slowing things down for process. Hmm. This real big. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I still need to pull the death effects. Uh, let's make sure that we actually got spawn effects happening. So I feel like I'm not seeing any. Oh, there was one. There's another one. Yeah. All right. So let's blow away this sphere because we don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sp spawn effects working. Good, 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 good. Um, but the nice thing there is that, like, previously we were adding a new spawn effect every time a new bee was spawned. Um, whereas now we've probably got, like, you know, a dozen instances or something. Hang on, we can find out. Let's find out how big that is. Because it's going to be little, right? Like, it's never, it's never going to be more than bunch of new spawns yeah so it's it's like a dozen or so per bee and so because they're not being added to the scene tree and removed from the scene tree um, that shouldn't uh, shouldn't slow things down as much as um, as it does when uh, when when we're just like instantiating a new one and adding it to the scene tree every single time. Um, so we'll do the same thing for death effects. So unused far. Don't give me that. <laughs> We're looking in player, come on. Uh, let's speed that up. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do the unused deaths later. Um Yeah, as as I said I got I got a, a migraine kicking in and I would rather not um push myself too hard uh in that case. So uh I hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching and uh I will Maybe I'll stream a little bit later today when I'm feeling better, or maybe I'll stream tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, have fun. Goodbye!